you know that without the help of the Lord, we can't do anything. But amen. The Bible said in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse number 6, Wherefore, I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. Heavenly Father, most righteous God, Lord, as we come once again tonight, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that name that is above every name, God, I thank you, Lord, for the songs of Zion, for the good prayer that we've heard tonight. And Lord, I thank you for what you're going to do in this service. And God, we uh, praise you, amen, right now in advance for what you've done and what you're going to do. Amen. And Lord, I pray, have your divine will and way in this place, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. The Lord began to deal with my heart on the thought, amen, in between the revival. Amen. In between the revivals that come. I, I, now, I love revival. Amen. It stirs our heart. And amen. We get in a mindset of coming in, ready to have church, lay aside uh, every weight, every sin that would just so easily beset us. I, I, amen. But what do we do on that daily basis in between revival? I, I, amen. I believe that we need a stirring. I, I, amen. On a daily basis, not just during revival. I, how whenever we have the great choirs and we have how, how, you know that anointed uh, fancy preaching how, how, amen I believe that every time that we come to the table how, how, amen to partake of what God has for us how, how, amen I believe that God wants to reach down how, how, amen and give us a personal revival how, how, on a daily basis how, how, how do we do that how, how, whenever amen it's just us how, how, how do we do that whenever we've come? How, how, amen. And we don't have, you know, the famous how, how singers booked and the things that really, you know, get to us. How, how, amen. Well, I believe that he gives us a clue here. How, how, whenever he said, I put thee in remembrance how, how, that thou mayest stir up the gift of God which is in thee. How, how, amen. Sometimes how, how, we just need to think back of all the good things how, how, that God has done in our life. Ha, ha, amen. Now, if he never did another single solitary thing, ha, amen, I'd have to say tonight, God has been bitter to me ha, ha, than I ever deserved in my life. Hello, somebody. Amen. I said sometimes we get wrapped up in the battle that we're in. Ha, ha, amen. The struggle that we're fighting with. Ha, ha, amen. And we forget all that we've seen him do. The hand of God. Ha, ha, how that he's moved. Ha, ha, but I believe that if we could remember ha, ha, that he's the same God yesterday, ha, ha, today and forever, ha, ha, then we could stir up the gift of God that is in us. Ha, ha, amen. Knowing that if he saved us. Ha, uh, he didn't save us to just sit us down and abandon us. Uh, uh, amen. But the Bible said he that's begun a good work in you uh, uh, shall perform it uh, after the day of Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, now I love it when we come in and uh, uh, amen, we get in, but I believe we can have a mindset uh, uh, that whether there's two, uh, uh, 20, uh, or 200, uh, uh, we can still raise our hands. Uh, amen. And say this. This is a day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad therein. And I think when I think about all that He's done, Amen, makes me question how grateful I am for what He's done. Amen. We need to not ever get over the fact that He saved us. Amen. He didn't have to. We could have been lost and out there, Amen, in the world. We could have been in hell tonight. But by the grace of God, we're here in the house of God. Amen. With the ability to give Him some praise. And I believe we need that stirring on a daily basis. Amen. I, I, but it's just like cooking, you know, sometimes. I, I, you know, I've seen folks that were learning. I've got a boy. I, I, amen. Normally does really good with cooking. I, I, amen. Can make things and do things. I, I, amen. That would surprise you. Amen. At his age. I, I, but amen. I remember one time I, I, that he put something on the stove and I, I just kind of walked off. I, and you know what? He was not there to keep it stirred up and I, 
it scorched it, amen, it ruined because there was not a stirring going on and friend, just like amen, Paul is telling Timothy here amen, that we need that stirring sometimes we got to apply ourselves amen, and not only remember what God has done but sometimes maybe we're like Moses and our hands begin to get a little weak and they come down but God has given us amen, an altar here that we can come and they can lay hands on us and pray for us I'm glad that we're not alone in this battle tonight we got somewhere we can go and not find amen, discouragement but encouragement and find the help that we need in our time of trouble and amen he said wherefore I put thee in remembrance and the dumb is served the gift of God that is in me and I put it on my hands and thank God we can let the elders lay hands on us amen and see the hand of God I begin to get stirred up in our life I begin to stir us up in our heart our mindset I don't know that God is still in control despite what's going on out there in the world tonight Hallelujah. Ha. Uh, somebody said, now preacher. Ha. Amen. You believe that? Yes, I believe that. Ha. Uh, because sometimes, ha. Uh, amen, we can kind of get beside ourselves. Ha. Uh, amen. To where we get distracted. You ever get distracted? Ha. Uh, maybe in driving, you get kind of, you know, just in a routine and ha. Out of where you're not really paying attention. Ha. Uh, if we really knew, amen, the things that were possible. Ha. I hear the house of God. I, I, tonight I believe that we'd have a different attitude. I, I, the Bible said we're two or three. I, I gathered together in my name. I, I, there I am in the midst of them. I, I, he's in our midst tonight. I, and if he's here, I, I, then anything is possible I, I, to them to believe. I, I, but sometimes we just got to apply ourselves. I, I, amen. And get into that place. I, I know Pastor used to say, this way, I, I, we got to get under the style for the glory of God I, I, is coming out. I, I, amen. And it reminds me of David I, I, in 2 Samuel chapter 5. I, I, amen. He is fighting with the enemy. I, I, the enemy has come. I, I, he could have got overwhelmed. He could have got discouraged. I, I, amen. But he prayed to God I, and he asked God, What do I need to do? I, I got to come again in that first time and amen God said go up and he defeated the enemy because God gave him direction but amen that second time whenever they regrouped and came by this time God said no thou shall not go up against them but thou shalt fetch a compass over against them over by the mulberry trees I can see sometimes how we got to get in a different position. How we got to move up. The Bible said, "Draw nigh to God, and He will draw nigh to you." But not only was it about getting over near the mulberry trees, but He said, "When thou hearest the sound, after going in the tops of the mulberry trees, then shalt thou bestir thyself." I think when we hear from heaven, we can move ahead. I, I, amen. We can stir up ourselves. I, I, amen. We can know that it's going to be all right. I, I, that God has went out before us. I, I, amen. I said again, thank God for the revival. I, I, but thank God for the mulberry trees. I, I, the word we can get and hear from heaven. I, and know that God is getting ready to fight on our behalf. I, I, for he said in John 10 and verse 4, I, I, that when he put it forth, he said, own sheep. Uh, he goes before them. Uh, amen. I'm glad that uh, God is out there in front of us uh, helping us uh, to fix tomorrow uh, to fix the obstacles and the challenges. Uh, amen. So why do we just sit there sometimes? Uh, uh, but we need to be stirred up the gift of God uh, that is in us. 
Amen. I, I believe that it's important. I, I, but sometimes we don't want to get into that place, do we? I, I, we want it kind of on our terms. I, I, amen. I was telling Brother Joe I, I, before service, I remember one time we were in a revival. I, amen. The Spirit of God was moving. I, I, amen. And then somebody come up and begin to kind of direct it in another direction. And I, I mean, everything bottomed out real quick. I, I, amen. I believe that we must be led I, I, by the Spirit of God in all things. I, I, so there is a way that she must ride. I, I, but to a man by the end of all of the ways of death. I, I've been some of the best services I, I, that I've ever had, amen, in my life. I've been with a humongous crowd. I, I, amen. Maybe it didn't make a lot of sense in the natural. I, I, but I've seen God do more in a few minutes. I, I've been Amen. I'm I, I educated. Amen. I, I speeches. I, I, that's why Paul said, when I come among you, I, I didn't come with enticing words. I, I made wisdom, but in a demonstration of the spirit and the power. I, I, hallelujah tonight. I, I said, I still believe that God's got the power. I, I to turn the situation around. I, I, but we got to stir ourselves up. I, I, even if we're kind of dead in our mindset, I, I think how do we I, I expect anyone else to get excited? I, I don't know about you, but I'm excited tonight I, I, that I am a child of God. I, I am no pastor one time. I, I, he'd come in, he'd begin to shout. I, I'm excited. Are you excited? I, I, even the fact that he saved me I, I ought to be enough to stir my heart tonight. Amen. Think about it. Amen. I said you got to get under the spout where the glory is coming out. But Job chapter 17 and verse number 8. He said upright men shall be astonished at this. And the innocent shall stir up himself against the hypocrite. Now when I read that. I thought about the innocent shall stir up himself. Amen. Whenever you realize that you don't have that way. Condemnation a hanging over your head. I, I, that you're not guilty anymore. I, I, the cause of what he did at Calvary. I, I, when you accepted him. I, I, the Bible said, let us therefore come boldly. I, I, before the throne room of grace. I, I, that we might obtain mercy. I, and find grace to help in our time of need. I, I, the pit folks are wrestling with the sin. I, and the problems of life many times it will hinder them. I, I amen and cause them to linger by. I, I, but I'm glad the Bible said in Romans 8 and 1. I, I, there is therefore now I, I, no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. I, I, I walk not after the flesh, I, I, but after the spirit. I, I thank God we've been made free tonight. I, I the cause of what he did, and if that don't excite you, I, I, amen, if that don't make you want to stir up your sin, I, I don't know what we I did thank God. I, I said, we got a God tonight. I, I said, though he sits high, I'm glad he looked low. I, and he rich way below the bottom. I, I ended that horrible pier. I, and he did not feed up out of it. I, I said, I'm on a solid bar. I, and established my going. I, and the fact that I've been forgiven. I, I did that more to cause me to stir up myself. Amen. A lot of folks tonight, amen, it's hard to kind of forgive themselves. God wants to forgive us. The Bible said that He's willing to forgive. I, amen. I believe that. I, I, but sometimes it's hard for us. I, amen. As fleshly human beings, amen. To, I, I get a hold of that and to forgive ourselves. I, I, amen. But whenever you realize I, I, what He did in those chains are gone. I, I remember the night that I got saved. I, I, amen. 1982. That's been a while. I, I, but I went down. I didn't know theology. I, I couldn't afford did you not one verse? I, I, but man, when I got up, I knew something had happened in my life. I, I, did, man, I didn't feel the weight of that sin. I, I can't over my head any longer. I, I did, man, and so I look forward to going to 
the church. I, I couldn't understand why folks didn't want to be there. I, I, hey, man, I feel like it was something. I, I, it was a hard thing to endure. I, I, but, hey, man, I was glad they could say it. I, I, when they said it to me, let us I, I go up into the house of the Lord. I, I mean, that's where I heard the gospel. I, and I heard about the power of God. I, I, but he still got the power tonight. I, I ain't got to do it seriously. 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 I'm holding the astral thing. I'm holding to that power. I wish work it in us. Amen. So we need that stirring daily. Amen. Because sometimes the enemy would love to lie. You ever had the enemy? Amen. Lie to you and say you ain't got a reason to even get out of bed. Amen. I'm telling you, the devil will try to discourage the life right out of you. I, I know what the Bible said, the joy of the Lord is our strength. I, amen. But he goes on in Isaiah 64. I, amen. In verse 7, he said, there's none that calleth upon thy name. I, amen. That stirreth up himself to take hold of thee. I, I, now stop and think about that for a moment. I, I, he said, there's none that I, I calleth upon your name. I, I, Sometimes we think prayer's got to be fancy. I, I, amen. That it's got to be sometime. I, I, you know, eloquent. I, I, but amen. I'm glad that whatever I am feeling in me. I, all I've got to do is begin to cry out his name. I, I, he said in Jeremiah 33 and 3. I, I call unto me. I, and I will answer thee. I, and so be great and mighty things. I, I, that God knows not. I, I, so he said, I, I, there's none that calleth upon thy name. I, I, that spirit of himself. I, I, have you ever come with that determination? I, I, amen, that I don't know what anybody else is going to do. I, I, but I'm going to get in. I'm going to get my blessing. I, I, like the little woman in Mark 5. I, I, that had the issue of blood. I, I, she was supposed to be in there according to the Levitical law. I, I, but she said within herself. I, if I can touch but the hem of his garment, I, if I can touch but his clothes, I, I know I'll be made whole. I, I, mean, I don't believe that she paid attention to all the crowd and everybody else was there. I, I, but you know what? She got in. I, I, she got her miracle. I, and I believe God's got a miracle I, I, for each and every one of us if we'll press into it. I, I, amen. If we'll press ahead, I, I can pass the tradition. I, I can pass our own ideas. I, I ain't going to let God I, I stir us up. I'm going to sit in. Yeah. Hallelujah. But sometimes we let ourselves get hindered. Well, they don't like my singing. Hey, Amen. They don't want to hear my testimony. I testify about this all the time. Hey, Amen. Doesn't matter. Hey, Amen. Testify again. The Bible said, amen, they overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. I, I, amen, you do what you do for the glory of God. You're not here to try to impress anybody. I, I, you're not here to try to I, I look eloquent. I, I, but you're here, amen, to worship God. I, I, for they that worship Him, I, I must. I, I worship Him in spirit. I, I have the truth. I, I, amen, you give Him your all and God will take it. I, I want to swim in one. I, he said, I beseech you therefore, brethren. I, I by the mercies of God that you present your body. I, I give it sacrifice. I, I hold me. I, and acceptable unto God which he is. I, I do a reasonable service. I, I, I really hear somebody that loves God. I, I get up to say to somebody that knows how. I, I, that has a talent but no relationship. I, I amen, but when you know what you're singing about I, I, to me it doesn't get any better than that hello I love that singing that we've had here tonight but amen in some places you go amen they sit there and they just don't allow the Lord to move them but we need to stir up ourselves sometimes Amen. We need to kind of, 
you know, look at ourselves and say, you know what? I, I, amen. God's been too good I, I, for me to just sit there, amen, on my hands. I, I mean, the Bible said, let everything I, I, that hath breath preach in the Lord. I, I, amen. I believe that if God, I, I woke you up this morning, I, I, amen, if he's kept you, if he's done anything for you, I, I don't want to be able to give him that sacrifice of praise. I, I, but I know sometimes. I, I, we wait for that goose bump on our goose bump. I, I, but you know what? If we begin to reach out, I, I believe he'll begin to reach them. I, I, the Bible said that he'll inhabit I, I, the phrases of his people. I, I, and the Bible also said, I, I let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So we need to say so. Sometimes we don't open our mouth very much, do we? But I'm glad that God is still, amen, merciful, and daily loadeth us with benefits. Amen. And I, I thought about the account. I, and Brother Joe kind of mentioned this vaguely. He didn't really, you know, go very far with it. I, I, but in Luke chapter 24, I, I, when they were on the road to Emmaus, I, I mean, they let the events that had just happened begin to discourage them. I, and they're walking along in the wrong direction, walking away from the promise. I, and all of a sudden, I, I, somebody comes up and joins I, I, himself to them. Ha. And he says, what manner of communications ha, are these that you have one with another? Ha. And why are you saying And they say, hey, don't you know ha, uh, what's happened? Ha. And they begin to tell him about Jesus. And it was Jesus all along. Ha. And they didn't recognize ha, ha, the man when he began to open the scripture. Ha. Ha. They said, did not our hearts burn within us? Ha. Ha. When you let God open the scripture to you, ha. I it will stir up your heart. I, I, because even Jeremiah said, I, I was weary with forbearing, I, I, but I could not stay. I, I, but he said, Thy word of Lord was found within my heart. I, I like a burning fire. I, I shut up in my bones. I, I could, and that's why Paul took Timothy. I, I preached the word. I, I mean, man, the word was terrified. I, I, we don't need just another story. I, I, we don't need just another illustration. I, I, but brother, we need the word of God. I, I, he said, preach the word. I, I, be instant in season. I, and out of season. I, I, for the time will come, they'll not endure some doctrine. I, and brother, we're living in that time. Amen. He said, whoo, and that guy preached, turned cartwheels and flips and all that. And I asked him one time, I said, well, what was his scripture? No scripture, but boy, he was excited. I believe in being excited. And if anybody ought to be excited, we ought to be excited. Come on. But we better not forget the word of God. Amen. Because when we go home, amen, it's that word of God that's going to keep us. Yeah. Amen. David even said, Thy word, O Lord, have I hidden in my heart. I, I said, I might not sin against thee. I, I, but if the word of God calls their heart to burn, I, I, then don't you think, I, I, amen, the word of God ought to stir us. I, I'm down at the house of God. I, I, now I love to shout. I, I love to get excited. I, I, but thank God I'm glad. I, I, the word tells me what I've got to get excited about. That this is not all that there is. Come on. That there is a heaven to gain. And a hell to shun. And that everything that we see here is temporary. But God has got an eternal place for us. Hallelujah. And just as, amen, that the word of God stirred their heart. They said, did I not our hearts burn? Amen. I'm wondering, I, amen, sometimes if that's not one of the problems that we're seeing I, I, in this day and age, I, I, how folks are not able to maintain, I, I, amen, God meant for our relationship, I, I to be more than a roller coaster ride, I, I, for we're up today, I, I, down tomorrow, I, I'm not ready to drag out on the bottom, up again, down again, I, I, amen, I believe that he wants us, I, I, to have 
house of consistency. Amen. About us. And I love what Job said. Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. I may not always understand everything that happens. But I'm glad. Amen. That, amen. I feel like that I, I don't ride that roller coaster. Amen. I've had folks tell me, you know, in and out and in and out. Amen. I've not always gotten it right, but I've never wanted to quit. Hello. I said I've never wanted to quit. Amen. I tell you, God's been too good to me. Amen. But Acts chapter 17, amen, verse number 16. Something else that ought to stir our hearts tonight. Amen. The, the Bible said that while Paul waited for them in Athens, his spirit was stirred in him when he saw that the city was given to idolatry. Amen. Who are the folks that's got a burden for them lost souls? Amen. Paul said that they were worshiping these idols. And it stirred his heart because he realized I, I, amen, what it was going to cost them one day. I, and man, we ought to be stirred up tonight. We're living in a dark time. I, I, somebody said, well, what can I do? I, I, well, the Bible said you can pray. I, I, the official, fervent, proud, of righteous man. I, I get a village monk. I, I, amen. But we need that burden. We don't need to get so used to seeing it like that. I, I, we learn to just step over the dead bodies and go right on. I, I, amen. You don't want to break our heart. You want to be crying out, God. I, I sent revival. I, I preach it if my people I, I to recall by my name. I, I shall humble themselves I, and pray and seek my face I, and turn from the rigid ways. I, I hear will I hear from heaven. I, I forgive their sin and I'll heal their wicked land. I, I, amen. Oh, God. I, I help us to help others. I, I reach out to them and shine the light. I, I amen because we're living in a dark time. The Bible said the word of God is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And just as Paul got burdened, he meant his spirit was stirred within him because of what he saw. Amen. I wonder where is our compassion went. Amen. For those that are around us. I know now there are a lot of times it's because we got battles in our own families, battles in our own homes and communities. But amen, I still believe prayer is a mighty weapon that God has given us. And that if we'll pray, there's nothing impossible with God. It may look impossible in the natural. I, I, but the Bible said that we walk in the flesh. I, I, we were not after the flesh. I, I, for the weapons of our warfare. I, I, they're not carnal. I, I, but they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. I, I, and, and I said we need that stirring I, I, in our life in between revival. I, I, amen. In between getting lifted up. I, I, we need to come in here. Amen. With some excitement tonight. Remember back just a couple of years ago when COVID hit and man full force. Couldn't come. And here we are able to be here. And I know sometimes folks work and they're sick and they're not able. A lot of times we have allowed little things to distract us. Knock us out of our desire of wanting to be in God's house. They want to be a disciple in us. Amen. Because the Bible said, faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word. And how can they hear without a preacher? And how can they preach except they be sent? Amen. I believe we still need the preaching of the word of God. The Bible said it's through the foolishness of preaching. I, I bet he saves them that believe. I, I, amen. I know the world don't understand. I've had folks tell me for years. I, I you need to calm down. I tell them I've been doing this for over 30 years. I, I may not run as fast. I, I may not jump as high. I, I, but amen, I'm still excited I, I, about the God that I serve. I, and I come, amen, fired up tonight. I, I tell you that there's nothing I, I, that he can't do. 
You got a need tonight. He's able. You got a problem. He's able to handle that. Bible didn't just say it. Casting all the easy cares that come to him. But he said, casting all your care. Amen. The good, the bad, whatever it might be. I'm glad that we can give it all to God. Yes. Amen. But we've got to let God stir us up. Amen. I got my lawnmower out the other day to mow. And I, amen. It had been sitting there in the winter. I, you know, there were a few things I had to do to get that engine to start. I, I had to put some fresh oil in it. Hello? And I had to take that uh, filter off of it. I, I, amen. And I had to spray a little starter fluid there into the carburetor. I, I owned that lawnmower, amen, so it would fire right up. I, I, amen, to make sure the spark plug was working good, that there would be some fire there. I, and likewise, when we come into the house of God, I, I, we don't need the old oil, we need some fresh oil. Yes. Hey, amen. We, we need to make sure that, hey, amen, we still got a little fire in our spark plug. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hey, amen. And make sure that, hey, amen, the filter's been cleaned out. So, hey, amen, the ignition can start. Hey, amen. That's why we've got to get our focus upon Him. Let Him stir us up once again. What about you tonight? Is there something in your life that's trying to clog out your motor spiritually? Amen. Is there something in your life that's trying to keep you from being stirred up when there's such a need? I mean, it's a dark time. And there are people all over the world that are crying out for somebody to come and share the gospel with them. Amen. People on the street, people, amen, in Walmart looking for hope. And we're just kind of going right along. But you know what? I still believe God's able to use Whosoever will. Amen. If they'll just apply themselves, God can stir us up. Amen. One more scripture tonight and I'll get out of your way. 2 Peter chapter 3. Now this is not, amen, Timothy. This is not Acts. This is not Isaiah. This is not Psalms. But this is, amen, the second epistle of Peter. And he said this second epistle... Beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure mind by way of remembrance. He's telling us just like Paul told Timothy, amen, you need to remember some things. Well, what things? He said in verse 2 that you may be mindful of the words which were spoken by the holy prophets and of the commandments of us, the apostles of our Lord and Savior. Amen. You need to get back to the Word of God. Amen. Jeremiah 6 and 16. We need that old path. We need to find that old path and walk therein. Do you know what? They told Jeremiah, they said, we will not walk therein. A lot of folks today are looking for something besides the Word of God. Yes, they are. I don't want anything outside of the Word tonight. I want the Word of God. Because the Bible said that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Yes. Oh God, speak to us tonight. Speak to our hearts. And God, stick that big spiritual spoon down and stir us. Amen. God, help us to remember. How, amen. In spite of everything that's going on, how blessed we are. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. If our name has been written down in that Lamb's Book of Life, I, I, we are blessed tonight. I, I, you may not have a, a fancy car. You may be holding it together with uh, coat racks and duct tape. Amen. But if your name is written in heaven, you're blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We may not have a hundred people here tonight, but you know what? We're still blessed. Yes, sir. Because we have God. So I want to ask you tonight, if there's something that's getting between you and that relationship, amen, when we open this altar up, won't you come and just layer down on this old-fashioned altar? Amen. And sometimes, you know, we're looking for that certain person, that certain someone, amen, you know, to stir us. But sometimes it may not be. 
in someone. I know God uses people. Amen. Don't misunderstand me. But the Bible said you've got to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And when you can't get a hold of the pastor and you can't get a hold of the deacon, you can't get a hold of the elder, I, I, amen, you better be able to get a hold of God for yourself. And I'm glad that God has made it so accessible that he said, let us therefore come boldly before the throne room of grace that we might obtain mercy and find grace to help in our time of need. As we bow our heads tonight and we close our eyes, nobody looking around for just a moment, I want to ask you this. Maybe you're here tonight. You've been around church. Maybe you've even professed at some point. But if the truth be told, tonight you would say, Preacher, I'm not exactly where I should be. If that's you and you raise your hand, I'm not going to come back and try to embarrass you, pull you to this altar. I just want to make it possible for you to pray. Amen. I was saved at the age of 13. I'm 54, be 55 my next birthday. And I tell you, God has been real good to me. But I knew then a lot more than what folks thought I knew. And I'm telling you tonight, if you're here and you're not where you need to be with God, you need to be saved. Or if you're saved, amen, and you've drifted, you need to come and you need to get that fixed up between you and Him. And I want to take just a minute tonight and I want to ask you, nobody looking around, if you're here and that's you, would you just slip your hand up and put it right back down? Say and pray for me. I'm telling you, I'm not going to embarrass you. Anybody. Amen. God loves you. But I feel like these...